This video is a demonstration on how you will download the data files that you will need for this course. So the first thing you'll want to do is minimize any windows that you have open. Go to your computer's desktop and then right click on your desktop. You're going to create a new folder and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it uh, data files. And because the data files are in different directories, I'm going to create some subdirectories from within this um, directory that I just created. So you do the same thing, you right click new folder. I'm going to name this folder Excel. Then I'll click again, right click new folder Office 2013 and Windows 8. Right click and create another folder. We're going to call this one PowerPoint. Right click and create another folder. And we'll call this one Word. And then there's one more folder that we need to create. So right click again, New Folder. And type in Integrated Projects. Once you have this done, um, you've got your file folder structure set up so that when you download, um, you'll be able to easily find your files. These files will come downloaded in a compressed format, so we will have to uh, uncompress these files once we um, get them all downloaded, which I'll show you how to do um, in just a minute. So I'm going to minimize this folder for now, and I'll bring Moodle back up. So once you log into Moodle, um, this will be your CIS 110 class. If you'll scroll down, you'll see a link here that says Cengage Mind Links Mind Tap. Now, this demonstration video is is assuming that you've already set your account up and that all you have to do is click on this link to get into it. If you have not already set your account up, don't do this until after you have successfully successfully done so. So click on the Cengage Mind Links Mind Tap after you've got your account set up. It will automatically log you in to uh, MindTap, which is what we will be using this semester. Once you get into MindTap, you want to go up to the um, top right, midway part of the screen, and click on the little four bars here. And this will give you a window of uh, assignments. In this window, the very first thing that you'll see is a link that says download student data files. So I'm going to click on this link and I'll get to this screen which gives me some instructions on how to do this. Basically it's just telling you the same thing that you're going to use these data files as part of this mind tap for this semester for this course. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this link here and when I do this I come to a student companion site. Once you get to this site, you'll want to click on the data files link to the left and you'll see a long list of different files that you'll need to download. And this is where the folder structure that was just created uh, will come in handy because once I go to download these files, I'll have a place to put everything and it will be in an organized manner. So we're not covering access in this course. Um, so we're not going to download the access files, but we do want to download the second link, which is the Excel files for chapters 1, 2, and 3. So click on your download link. And you'll notice that it's being downloaded. Once you download it, you'll want to click on your button at the bottom here, do show in folder. And mine went to just a random folder that I have set up on my uh, computer. But once it's completely downloaded and I open that folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on the cut button here so that I can put this in my folder that I had set up for it. So this is Excel. So I'm going to minimize my window here. Double click on data files. Double click on Excel. Right click. Paste and then you'll close this window. Go back to your window where your files are to be downloaded 
and the next thing that we're going to download is the integrated projects so I'll click on that button you'll notice that it's downloading once it's finished and you can watch the screen here to see how long it's going to take to download it <clears throat> and it says we have a minute left so we'll just sit here and wait It's very easy to lose these files when you download them if you're not sure what the settings are on your computer. So what I do, because I, I tend to lose things sometimes myself, is I'll wait until this download is complete and I will hit this drop down box here and open the folder that I know that it went into. So the process of cutting once you get into that folder and pasting into a new folder that you set up um, it's just a method to put everything in one place so that it'll be easier to find. So we've got a few more seconds here and then this will be finished. So I'll click the down arrow, show in folder. It automatically highlights what I just downloaded. Right click, cut. I'm going to close this window, minimize this window, go back to my desktop. And what we just downloaded was the integrated project, so I'm going to double click on that folder, right click, and paste. Again, you'll close this out, and you'll go back to your um, screen that you minimized where your download files are, and we'll repeat the process for the Office 2013 Windows 8. So I'll go ahead and click on that. <coughs> you notice the green little blinking round circle around it means that it's in the process so as soon as you see that that has gone you can do show in folder right click cut close the window minimize this window click on your data files folder and what we just downloaded at that point was office 2013 and windows 8 so double click that folder right click paste close that window. I'm going back to my downloads window and I have three individual files that I have to download for PowerPoint um, and you'll notice that the first one is for PowerPoint chapters 1 and 2 uh, the second one is chapter 3 part 1 the third one is chapter 3 part 2 so I'm going to go ahead and do each one of these individually just like we have done before and it's taking my computer a few minutes to get going here and you'll see that it's now downloading that very first PowerPoint. And it may take this a few minutes because the PowerPoint files are much larger than the other files. So it will take it a few more minutes to, um, to complete downloading. <clears throat> so my green circle has gone away. So what I'll do is hit the drop down button here, show in folder, right click, cut. I'm going to close this window, minimize this one, go to PowerPoint, right click, paste. So now we have one of three. Now I'm going to leave this window open and I'm going to go back to my download window and I'm going to go and get the second file for the PowerPoint. And I've clicked on it and you see that it is downloading now. <coughs> says we have about two minutes left so we'll wait that out still got another minute but we're counting it down We'll do the exact same thing with this download as we did the other one. We'll open it, we'll do the cut, and then we'll go to the folder that we want to put it in and we'll right click and paste, and then we'll have our second one for PowerPoint. 
Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and start this third one from downloading. So watch what happens when I click on this. You see this one's downloading and this one is downloading. Of course this one should finish before this one. But the fact that I'm downloading two at one time could slow this link down a little bit, but that's okay because I know I'm following what I'm doing and I know when both of these finish downloading, I'm going to go to the folder that they're in and I'm going to right click and paste it into the new folder that I set up. You can store these files anywhere on your computer. That is the easiest and most accessible location for you. For me, it's easy for me to find things on my desktop. Uh, that's why I chose that location to put my data files in. Alright, so on that second one for PowerPoint, looks like we got about 29, 25 seconds left. Hopefully that will finish up pretty quickly. And by the time we cut and paste this one, hopefully that third one will have finished as well. Sometimes when you download, you think it's never going to finish. Wait for the green circle to go away. And once it's gone away, hit the drop down, show in folder, right click, cut. And again, this is the second file for PowerPoint. So let me go to the folder. Notice up here at the top, data files and PowerPoint. I still had that window open. Right click in the window, right click, and paste. Uh, go back to your download of the third file and notice that one's almost finished. So we'll go ahead and start this download for the Word file. And that one did finish. So this is the third of the PowerPoint. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Show in folder. Right click. Cut. Paste. This time I'm going to close this window just because we have all the PowerPoint and now I need to get the Word which it has finished. Here it is here. So show in folder, right click, cut, close this, minimize, go to data files, find your Word folder, right click and paste. Now notice the way that these files um, are displayed on the screen it does show kind of a zipper on top of a file folder which means that these are compressed so before you can access any of the files you have to decompress or expand the uh, folder into individual files the easiest way to do that of course is to right click on it you'll see an option that says extract all choose that it will give you a location as to where to put it it's going to default to the same location that you already have the zip folder in, which is exactly where you want to put it. Um, click on the extract button, and in just a few minutes, you'll see um, a whole other folder that was created, and it is in the. It doesn't have a zip like a zipper on it, so you can double click and you can see that you now have three subfolders with files in them one for chapter one, one for chapter two, one for chapter three. So if you go back one more time, you can close this and you will see right here is the compressed folder and then when we extracted it this is the uncompressed folder. The difference between the two is one has a zipper, one does not. So if I click my back button I go to my original data files folder with all of my subfiles in it. So you'll want to do this for every file that you downloaded. Um, I'll do one more and then um, I'll leave it to you to uh, finish the rest. I double clicked on Excel. I see the extracted, well, I'm sorry, not the extracted, but the zippered file uh, icon here. So I'm going to right click, extract. When the box comes up, I'm going to let it extract into the same uh, location. Again, it'll go through the process and you'll see that you have a folder with Excel data and then you have the three subfolders again that has the files in it. Um, 
So this is how you will download and extract your data files and have them ready for the in individual exercises that we'll be doing this semester. I hope this helps everyone and good luck with the course.